Paperbark is a lovely story-based game where you play as a wombat exploring the Australian outback. I came across paper bark in a humble bundle package that was created to support the Australian bushfires. For those who are unaware, Humble Bundle creates bundles of games at good prices while giving money back to charity at your discretion. One day I was browsing the bundles to see what new was coming out and found the Humble Australia's Fire Relief Bundle. If you've dropped by my streams, you would know that I love indie games and I love getting lost in the atmosphere of them and seeing what new and upcoming indie developers are coming up with. And this game really hit those notes for me. I just want to start by saying how great it was that the Paper House games respected Aboriginal histories and ancestors by starting off with a traditional welcome to country. This was something I noticed as an educator and was proud to see. It really showed respect for the Aboriginal culture and Australia as a whole, which is something that I've not seen in Australian games before. Paperbark really does give you the feel of living in the bush. As a country-born gal myself, hearing those sounds brought me back to my childhood and running around in the bush listening to the bird calls and the kookaburras sing. Then the words start. The story shows up running across the screen in short sentences before fading away again and to my joy I could hear a thick Aboriginal accent behind it. Another fantastic choice for the game company. I enjoyed how the collectibles were so much a part of the scenery that you didn't even notice them until you were right on top of them. I eagerly look forward to going back and getting all those collectibles. That is how much I enjoyed this. I loved the art style. The way the wombat walking would slowly wash away the white. There was a glitch in this after the game stopped for me and I had to start again. The wombat would only see right near them and I was unable to get any collectors. But once was the only time it happened. I loved how they put the colouring in the small details. I walked the wombat past a tree and smiled in acknowledgement and pleasure at the different colours of bark in the tree. Something a true Australian would know and notice. As you stop and take in the beauty, the bush doesn't stop. <clears throat> Much like a real Australian bush. And it's always lively and teeming with wildlife wandering around on the ground and flying out of the trees. My only issue that I had with the game was the glitches. Occasionally, well, enough times to make it really noticeable, the game would glitch and the background would start flashing. While it was on the occasionally, it was a rather noticeable issue and rather hard to ignore, even with the amazing art story. You play as a wombat living in a paper bark tree. As you explore the Australian bush, your home is ravaged by bushfires, forcing you to take refuge and find a new home. The art style reminds me of illustrations in a book. The way that the clicking is considered as painting was also a lovely touch. The artist took time to put colour into all aspects of the bush with so much detail, I was very impressed. The paper bark tree. I loved that they used an Aboriginal voice actor to voice the story. The thick Aboriginal accent feels like you are being dragged into a dream time story and you want to hear it all. The music is beautiful and the vocal sounds while the wombat follows the footprints on the ground, coupled with the Australia bush, is divine. The game is so easy to play, it's fairly straightforward and linear. I would consider it more of an interactive novel than uh, a game as such. 
There are moments when you cannot return within each chapter, and this can be rather frustrating for collectors. The controls are very easy to understand and easy to master. The story was beautiful. It is extremely relaxing and climactic at the same time. While the wombat doesn't say a word, we quickly become invested in him, feeling a tug on the heartstrings as we wonder, will he make it out of the bushfires in one piece? The game is aimed at those who enjoy relaxing, story-based games. Each level, with the exception of the bushfire level, has collectibles. Each collectible is hidden within the landscape and really did call out to the 100% of me. There are also a lot of other Steam achievements of which I was unaware during my first playthrough and I'm looking forward to going back and collecting all of them. Paper Park really hit home for me. I loved seeing my country on the game screen and sharing what I experienced with my community from all over the world. I am genuinely excited to share more of Australia with the world and feel that through games it's a great way for them to see and experience it. I did find the glitches rather frustrating and as a result it caused my score to drop a little bit but I loved the welcome to country at the beginning and the game developers putting that in and it made me proud to be an Australian. Overall, I would give Paperbark 4 out of 5 howlers.